Okay, Lydia. Your name is Lydia. Hi, I'm Trish. And you were an intern here? Yes. Oh, you're an intern here now, but you were a volunteer before when you were in high school. Yes. And Lydia goes to Biola. Hi, Naomi. Hello. Okay. Okay. You set a little bit of hay right here so that when it comes up, when you pick up the mold, it'll come off the ground. You don't want it to stick to the dirt floor. Oh, uh, that's a good point. All right, so go ahead and put some, your dirt piles in here, guys. Okay. Don't want to hit the floor. Adobe. Yeah. Don't let it fall on anyone, right? Put it in from down low, guys. Don't drop it from up high. Oh, oh yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see those hands. <laughs> See, so now look, now that it's about halfway, you pour a little bit more hay so that you can suck up all the water once it's already built. It'll suck up some of the water and make it a nice dry brick. How long does it take for them to actually dry? How long does it take for them to dry? A couple days. Well, you just barely be ready, guys. How much? Should it be ready for Friday? Oh, Are they going to be able to take their bricks home? Oh, no. This is true. <laughs> we can always cut no, a piece of off yeah. and get our own. All right. So our professional molder here. Oh, here we go. Yes, he okay. will. What's your name, professional molder? Joshua. Joshua. Hi, Joshua. Okay. Going to be flattening with this tool. Have to wet the tool so that it's easier to flatten the top of the. Think you need a little bit more mud. Yeah, probably. I'll just get it off. Go get it. So what do you do? What do you do with the brick? Um, usually, when they're done drying, kids can see what it looks like within two days or so. Uh huh. So they can see what they made and. and, and then do you do actually do something with it? Um, sometimes we do, but usually we just break it down and put it back into the pit. For the next mud. Yeah. Mud activity. <laughs> How much does it weigh? Uh, more than 10 pounds, I'm certain. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah. I should try picking it up. Yeah, would you like to? Sure. I think it's more than 10 pounds. I think it's more than 15. Yeah. Okay. That's the brick. Yeah. <coughs> you got all the mud you need? Uh, I should probably go. That's eight acres. Okay. question? So then in the old days, they would stack these like regular bricks, but they need to be this wide because of the, um, of the, of the, the density of the walls, yeah. Yeah. So that, that is sort of the, the shape that it was in the old days? Um, usually it would be the same shape, but usually a little bit smaller or something. I see. Yeah, so. So like rectangular, but a slightly smaller rectangle. And you have to really flatten it down because if there are any air pockets left in it, it might crack like It that weakens one. it. Okay, so there's a crack, so that's... Because the hay no. gets, uh. Uh, helps get some of the um, air out, but it also can leave air pockets in, so you have to not place too much or else it'll mess up. So now I just need to wet this one more time. So this is the mud pile that all of the mud came from, and these are the buckets, They're adding water, cleaning the tools, and what's the, um, what's the sand for? The sand is to make the mud more gritty so that it fits into the mold better, because oh. it will help harden the um, now, is the, is the, it's a clay soil, right? Yeah, it's basically clay based with, um, regular clay. Now, is that natural here, or do you actually have to bring it in from somewhere? Um, I think a few years ago that, um, mud that was in the pit was brought here from another location. Uh -huh. That's why we have to preserve it and keep as much in the pit as we can. Right. Or else right. we'll have to go out and buy it. I see. And so, um...
you use this to cover it when it's not in yeah. use. Oh, okay. Leaves out and then that might fall. When you have your big mud event, which is coming up soon, right? It's called mud, mud Mania. Mud Mania. Where, where are all the mud things happening? This is obviously one of them. Yeah, so I th I've never um, done Mud Mania myself, but I think that most of it would be in this area or out in the yard. Oh, okay. Yeah, neat. So what are you guys doing tomorrow? I have to try not to get the kids. Tomorrow we're going to be doing more mud events and with this mud we're actually going to be building little miniature buildings out of the mud. Oh. But instead of making each individ individual brick, they're just going to stack it on top and it's a I giant I see. Box. I see. Okay, well that's great. Thank you. So this is the old water tower, I guess. So, hey, stacked around. There's some more of the adobe brick. I guess this is a, a double stacker. Make two bricks at once. And, ooh, lots of fruit trees. I wonder if they have a lemon tree. Giant cactus. Enormous. A big pot. I wonder what this is for. Making candles. Boiling down fat from the horses. An old grapevine. Structure from it. So this is... <laughs> this is the new two-room adobe that was built. Um, Basically, the very first building on this site was a two-room adobe built, and this was rebuilt to look like it. It's also the visitor center, and the displays from the visitor center have been relocated to here. There's also, from what I understand, a downstairs area that is used for presentations and things like that. And that is the train. So here's the downstairs area. And then over there, you can see there's a brand new parking lot, so it addresses the parking problem that existed here.